Hi Virgo, Narai here, gonna do a reading for you. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest, as this is not a personal reading. And we will see what comes out for you. What do we have for Virgo? Summon rising Venus in North Node. Please and thank you. All right. Message and guidance for Virgo. Oh, okay. You see that? Oh, wow. Stop it. Five of Swords. Some sort of unfair treatment and conflict. I don't like it. Somebody wanting to win at all cost. And here we have the King of Cups. This is a compassionate person. Somebody very intuitive, full of emotion, but has emotional maturity. They are going to be able to talk about how they feel without being overly emotional, even though they're probably full of emotion inside. This is a mature person. This is somebody very supportive. For some of you, this might be an older man. So what happened? Eight of Pentacles. Work on yourself. Hard work on yourself. Oh, shit. Sorry. That's way too many cards. I'm putting them back. Oh, my gosh. No. The Devil. This is either a Capricorn or some toxic energy or codependency or attachment. Shadow work. Oh. So there was an in, there was a situation where somebody wanted to win at all costs and you were doing work on yourself. So that means there was some sort of oh wow, look. Some sort of secrets. I was going to say some sort of ending ending that that came out while I was talking. There may have been fear or some sort of illusion. And I feel like this person tried to manipulate you, Virgo. And you still don't know everything. Ooh, okay. Where are you? The Knight of Pentacles. You are being reliable. <laughs> and patient with this person. I feel like you were trying to go at somebody's pace and not rush things. And you were still fooled. Look, you have to trust your intuition. We have hard working twice because the eight of pentacles is hard working and nine uh, knight of pentacles has to do with hard work. But you ended up going through some sort of death. A release, an ending, and a beginning. And you had to... I'm pulling from the bottom. A couple more cards. You had to make a choice. So you chose you. And it could have been that your belief system was not the same with the Hierophant. But this could also be a marriage card. Um, maybe you wanted marriage. 
You wanted something serious? I just heard, I, what just popped into my head is failure to launch. It's like you and somebody, and you could have even been in a relationship, but it did not go where you intended for it to go or were if you had a conversation where it was supposed to actually go. May not have had the same beliefs. You may not have been raised the same. Wow. The, the lovers. You moving away from this person. And this is also letting you know it's important to have a conversation about morals and values so you and somebody are on the same page. Oof, this is you and somebody that bring balance to each other. Bring balance to each other. Is that what I just said? Wow, this is a divine love. And isn't that a beautiful card? You grow through things together. And it just makes me think like it's destiny. Because when I see the circle, it makes me think of not just like a cycle. It's not a bad cycle, a healthy cycle, like a healthy cycle. I lost my train of thought. That is so bad. <laughs> but this is so beautiful. It's like you're full of emotion for each other. This is home. And we started, okay, look at this. We started with the king. And the reason I think we started with the king is because you're more emotionally developed than you were, let's say a year ago. Emotionally mature, emotionally able to handle things. And we have the queen of cups. For some of you, oh my God. And another thing, for some of you ladies, you have had to be in your masculine energy and relationships because you were doing the most, like you were providing the money and everything, not allowing the man in the relationship to actually be in the masculine energy. For some of you, you are involved in relationships where you as a Virgo woman was in your masculine energy and you were dealing with a guy that was actually in his feminine energy. This relationship is going to allow you to be in the feminine. And I know this is not the divine feminine card, but it will, if, if this is the relationship I'm talking about for you Virgo women, it will allow you to actually be in your feminine energy to where you feel safe in a relationship. You feel like you can be vulnerable and it be taken seriously. So you can be nurturing and you can be compassionate and you can not have to feel like you have to carry the weight on your shoulders. I don't have that to say about the Virgo man though. Virgo man, keep doing the great job you're doing. You're going to meet somebody that allows you to lead. So that's wonderful. And I have judgment. It's a final decision. There was an awakening for you. I'm going to leave you with that. Love you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.